The Battle of Fishers Hill was fought September 21, 22, 1864, near Strasburg, Virginia, as part of the Valley Campaigns of 1864 during the American Civil War. Despite its strong defensive position, the Confederate Army of L.T. Gen. Jubal Early was defeated by the Union Army of the Shenandoah, commanded by Marge Gen. Philip Sheridan. Background. Sheridan had almost 30,000 men in the Shenandoah Valley opposing Early, with just under 10,000. Early, following the Third Battle of Winchester took a strong position. His right rested on the north branch of the Shenandoah River. The left flank of his infantry was on Fisher's Hill. Confederate cavalry was expected to hold the ground from there to Little North Mountain. Marj. Gen. George Crook advised Sheridan to flank this position. His command was assigned to move along the wooded slopes of the mountain to attack the cavalry. Battle. Crook's attack began about 4 p.m. on September 22, 1864. The infantry attack pushed the Confederate troopers out of their way. Marj. Gen. Stephen Dodson Ramser tried refusing the left flank of his division. Crook and Brig. Gen. James B. Ricketts's division, of Horatio G. Wright's 6th Corps struck Ramsour's line, pushing it in. Wright's remaining divisions and 19th Corps broke the southern line. Aftermath, the Confederates fell back to Waynesboro, Virginia. Brig. Gen. Alfred Torbert was sent into the Luray Valley with 6,000 cavalrymen to force his way through the 1,200 Confederate cavalrymen under Brigadier General Williams Wickham. Torbert was then supposed to move through the New Market and Luray Gap in Massanutten Mountain and come up behind Early and cut off his retreat at Fishers Hill. Torbit fell back after making a token effort against Wickham's force at Milford and Early escaped. Four Union Army enlisted men and one officer received the Medal of Honor in the action at Fisher's Hill. Private James Connors, 43rd New York Infantry. Private John Creed, 23rd Illinois Infantry. Private George G. Moore, 11th West Virginia Infantry. Sergeant Sylvester D. Rhodes, 61st Pennsylvania Infantry. First Lieutenant Edward N. Whittier, 5th Battery Main Light Artillery.